Hi guys, welcome back to Dramatic Aquatics and today we're going to do some unboxing with a proper camera. So let's get away with box number one. Hopefully I shouldn't need to shout like I had with the other camera. Should be able to hear everything absolutely fine. So, first of all in this box we've got Java fern, more Java fern, Vallis, more Java fern in pots, and some other sort of greenish plantiest. Fish wise, got some diamond tip sturgeon. But one's looking a bit upside down already, so we're going to get him immediately straight out of that bag. Just quickly see what else there is. Oh, that was the long nose sturgeon. This is the diamond tip sturgeon. You can see by the heckles and the white coloration in the middle of his body. And some nice Israeli koi. There's a beautiful Tancho one there. That's them ones. And the final bag in the box is some more koi carp. So we're going to quickly get these floating and then we'll take a look in box number two. And here we go, box number two. This box might be tropical fish. Alright. Sure is because there's the heat packs and the nice and warm still. Oh, it's a bit whiffy in here. So first up, we've got some sunset wag platies. Beautiful little fish. Great for community tanks. Some yellow wag platies. There we go. Some big sailfin mollies. And I haven't got a clue what's in here because our Liam did all the ordering. But well, there's a few nice silvers there. Mind you, they're supposed to be pairs, and I can only see two males and three females. No, oh, there we go, three females, three males. Incredible. What's next? Marble platies. And there is one there which is upside down. Hopefully the rest will be all okay. So again, as soon as we're getting this box undone, we'll get these put straight away. Next, we've got some red platy. There we go. Let's see what else we've got in the box. What are these? Ah, clown Plex L103s. Can't really see the detail on them, but that's what they are. We'll have a look at these once we get them put into the tanks. Very quickly, we have got more mollies. Is that mollies? Yes, it is. Black sailfin mollies. Some of them. And these are the rams. Blue rams, I think. Bit difficult to see through the packaging. But we'll have a look at them once they're put away. And here we've got the gold rams. Looking nice, bit poop in the bag as well, always a good thing to see. Ah, Japonica shrimp. These are great for eating your hair algae. Great little critters. There we go. Next up, female guppies. There's a few in the bag, not good there. I can see three unfortunate ones. So again, we need to get these out in a hurry. And we've also got a snail there in the bag. The 
the rate is cichlid. Just a bit of a top up as we've seen to have sold quite a few this last week. And the last two bags. We've got the Brashard eye. These are a Tanganyikan, beautiful looking fish. There we go. And the final bag for box number two is male guppies. And then ones are all okay and looking good. There we go. So that's it for box number two. Come back in a few seconds and we'll have a look and see what's in box number three. And here we go with box number three. So we're getting all the other ones put away, climatized. Uh, still a couple are just finishing off. Well, we'll quickly get into this box and see what we've got. Okay. Again, tropical. So we've got a couple of heat packs there. Still nice and warm. And first out, we have got our fire belly newts. There we go. Brilliant. Look at all these little toes. Bless them. He's not moving very much, that one. Oh, yeah, there he is. He's all right. We'll check him out when we get him in the tank. What else have we got? Let's just whip this out of here. So hopefully we can get a better look. Ah, yes. Female fighters. There we go. And there's some nice colours in them as well. One or two got raggy tails, but hey, the fighting fish. There we go. Next up is the frogs. There we go. 100% aquatic frog. And these like to feed on a little bit of uh, bloodworm. You can also get frog in as well, I think, which is a food for newts and for frogs. But they will eat bits of flake as well. But we like to feed them on the bloodworm. What else have we got? What's these? Ah, some. Really? These have got to be the tiniest, tiniest pengaseous eye I've ever seen. These are albinos. And they're going to have to go in with some extremely small fish because the pengasius we got, we'll just eat them in one fell swoop. So there we go, albino pengasius. What else we got? Uh, Liam knows the name of this one. Go on then, Liam, what is it? It's a pe It's a paimadella pick this catfish. There we go. Just the one, there was supposed to be four or five of these, I think he ordered, but it's just the one. So I'll just go in with a pin pick this. Pimadelia. Some green chromus. Green brooches, sorry. Corridora. Again, these will look a lot nicer once we get them in the tank. And we'll see them for what they really are. What else have we got? Ah! The blue red tail borsha. Did I just see three in there? No, two. Yeah. Not very often you find these, but there we go. You can see the blue in that one. The other one's still got some colouring up to do. Great little fish. Next up, we have got. I think these are just the bronze curries. Great little work as these. Quite a few bags in this box, man. These are your blood fin tetra. You picking that up, Liam? Kind of. There we go. So, again, we'll get a proper look at these soon. What else have we got? Let's have a look. <laughs> what are these? I don't know. They look like Jack Dempsey's. Don't know what them are, Liam. Flower horn, maybe? Flower horns? Possibly, yeah. Yeah, flower horns. Yeah. Ah, well done, you see. Makes a difference when you've done the ordering. You kind of know what to expect. Alright, peppered Corys. Some more of these in, because we're running extremely low. Again, 
great little grafters. Elephant nose. Very, very nice. Hello, little dude. Yeah, look at him. Proper little cute things then. What's next? Neon Terra. There we go. All looking good. No deed in the bag. Incredible. And these are the black neons, although there is no coloration in them whatsoever. But once they've gotten in and they're settled in, they'll colour up lovely. And the last bag in the box is the one I can't pronounce. It's the Denison Eye. Hey, I said it right this time. Look at the colours on that, man. That is unbelievable. Right, let's just whip them out of there very, very quickly. Out the first bag, and then we can get a proper look at the colours. Look at that, man. That is just a beautiful, beautiful colour. Wow. Incredible. So that's it for box number three. So we're going to quickly get these floating, get them acclimatised, and then we're going to get them put away. Now we're going to take a look in the final box, box number four, box number four. So far so good, there's only been a couple of little guppies which didn't make it. Uh, touch wood. And I really haven't got a clue what's left to unbox. But we're about to find out. Again, okay, it's tropical. Another couple of heat packs in there. Ooh. A few things looking nice in here. Eventually, some decent sized clown knife fish. Normally when these guys come in they are proper skinny, but them two is looking good. Wow. Incredible. Again, for people who are larger tanks, they're an ideal sort of fish. Here we go. Otto sinkless. Very, very popular algae cleaner, these, especially for small tropical tanks. There we go, loads of them in there. Oh, some black paper. Clown loach. Oh, they're a good size. I was expecting them being absolutely minuscule, but there we go. Decent old size on that one there. Look at him. Obviously ran out. So we're getting them big and as a bonus. I think they ordered big ones, actually. Did you? You naughty <laughs> boy. They'll be fortunes then. Uh, what's these? Dabawi catfish? They are. There we go. Dabawi catfish. Liam's choice. Let's see if he was right or not. They're actually a nice catfish. They're generally quite peaceful. Yeah, get you. Been reading, have we? Haha. <laughs> oh, another elephant nose. There we go. That'll go in with the other dudes. Very, very nice. What else have we got? What's that? Scissor, ah, scissor tails. Scissor tail ras borer with no coloration. But again, these color up absolutely stunning. We've got some in the Boyu tank. Might get a look at those ones later. There we go. Still quite a few bags to go. Black Widows. Yeah. Yeah. Not very black. There we go. They have just been transported. And this is probably the first time they've seen daylight since yesterday. Bless the little cotton fins. Ah! Some black ghost knives. Are you getting them there? Yeah. There we go. Again, we'll have a look at these when they're put away. These are just absolutely outstanding creature. Love them to bits, man. Get these hand feeding with a blood worm to start with and then they become to know you as a person. Beautiful critters, man. Beautiful. What have I got left? Uh, green tiger barbs. There we go. Me personally, I probably wouldn't have ordered these, but we'll see how they go. I hope they colour up a bit better than that, though. There we go. On to some smaller stuff. No, it's them cherry bobs. Ember tails. No. Huh? 
no, no. Cherry bobs. They are cherry bobs. They are just extremely small cherry bobs. I just hope. Zoom in a bit. I just hope they don't go down the drains. There we go. Cherry bobs. What's left? So we have got Harlequin Rosbora, all looking nice and healthy. Beautiful fish these against some green plants in the aquarium. Give off some wonderful colours. Next up. Now there's your cherry bobs, them other ones might be embers then. Must be. Yeah. There's your cherry bobs, better size. Only two bags left. <laughs> Red tail black sharks. Again, no coloration on them. Well stressed. And then the last bag is just another couple of black ghost knives. So there we go folks, that's the four boxes now unboxed, we're going to get these put away and we'll take a look at the tanks in just a few minutes. So that's all the fish put away now and they're just getting a bit of a feed and now we're just looking at the Dibawi catfish and a big pile of blood worms. So they're feeding pretty much straight away. Pepper curry and the worm is actually bigger than he is. They're a nice size, them as well, the Debowies. Beautiful fish. What else did we get? We got the black neons. Let's have a look and see if we can get in on some of these. Again, all doing well. A few of those in. And these snails are actually the rabbit snails. We've had these little guys in for a week or two now. Excellent little algae eaters. What else did we get? We've got the golden ram. Uh, we got some German blue rams as well. Beautiful, beautiful fish, man. And some amazing colours on them too. What else did we get? Loads and loads of autos. And there they are doing a wonderful job. There's a load more just there as well. A few neon terrors, decent sort of size. These are all available from Saturday. And a load of ember terrors. They came in as well. Down the other side. Let's have a look. There's Clarius on the hunt, looking for his breakfast. He says, mm, I'll just eat the Midas. Bless him. So there's the little baby labs, still doing great. Getting big now. And down here somewhere, there's the Denisoni. And these are a beautiful looking fish, man. There we go, look at that, and there's another one just here right at the very very front as well, I'm going to a lot of reflection, there we go, that's better, now you can see the proper colours on him, absolutely beautiful, and there's no surprise but the parrots have actually eaten all of the eggs, Look at him, man. Yeah. See if we can see your teeth, dude. Show us your teeth. No, he doesn't want to play. Show us your teeth. Come on. Here we go. Nearly. No, he didn't want to play. Yeah, what else did we get? I got some clown knife fish. There we go. He's getting a bit of blood worm for his breakfast. Well, it looks like this dude's had some blood worm and oh look at his belly man. That is your red snake head. He came in, I think it was two weeks ago. You know where he's gone now? Hiding. Yeah, he does not like the camera. Well there you go. 
That's your red snake head. Also just came in was some more of the elephant nose. And of course the decent size clown loach. These are absolutely incredible if ever you have an outbreak of snails. Get these little dudes but do buy a group. They do prefer to be in a small group rather than on their own. Black ghost knives. These are a stunning fish. Absolutely beautiful. And here's one just coming to the front as well. Look at that man. Absolutely stunning. These guys normally just come out in the dark. But you can see, I've got my lights on and they are literally just hanging around. But the movement is so gracious. These guys, you know, these can get up like nigh on two foot. It's about 18 inch, eventually, given time. And what else did we get? We got the cherry barbs. <laughs> and somewhere in here is the smallest albino pengasius I think I've ever seen. Here he comes. And they are roughly the same size as the cherry barbs, man. But you can tell by his little belly there, he's had a lot of breakfast this morning. So it shouldn't take them too long to get to this sort of size. Look at that. Absolutely brilliant. And what we've got, oh, there's one of the parrots that didn't get on with the other two when they started laying eggs. All healed up nicely now. Just a little bit of Melifix in the tank. There's nothing new in there, I don't think. Medium sized Pengasius again, you can see where they've had the bait. Down here, we've got the red tail sharks. They're all settled in great. Best with these guys, just have one per tank. If you've got two, one will bully the other one until it just gives up. So best kept one bottom dweller per tank. Frogs, there we go. Great little dudes these man. Always get some attention. And that there at the front is a female fighter just hogging the camera. And there's some nice colours of these coming. Well, as we got the green tigers. Not my cup of tea, I prefer the original Tiger Bob. But there will be people out there who absolutely love the green tiger barbs or have got tiger barbs and they want the whole collection. Next door, Bolivian rams. And I kind of think, other than the goobies and the mollies, that's about it. Weird little dude there. Hello. I always remind me of Milo from the Tweenies. Over here we've got a range of platies and this is the new guppies. So these ones aren't for sale until Saturday. Got a few of them in and we also got a few really nice meals. And again a special thanks to Pond Guru for supplying us with the camera. I mean look at the detail on that. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. And like I say, we've got a load of red ones and green ones and yellow ones, all sorts of different platies. And then up the top as well, we've got the big mollies, seal fins, some little baby ones in the tank next door, and there's some big ones here. That's kind of it. Let's go and have a look at the sturgeon. Do, 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 do. This is some of the koi that we've got. All mixed in there, a bit difficult to see because of the water movement. And over here, let me zoom up a little bit, is the sturgeon, there we go. Incredible fish these. 
And yet I just can't seem to keep these guys at home. Pond I think's big enough. I generally get about two year and then something goes wrong. A few years ago it was heating, I just give up trying to keep them at home after that. So there we go, that's what we're just getting in. Now we'll take a look at some of the plants. So there's not a massive amount of plants, but we did get a few different ferns in, there's a few little different pieces here and there. So we've got some moss balls on the go. There's your java fern. They sort of size as well. These ones are potted. And then we've got the bunched stuff just next door here. Difficult to see with the reflections. Maybe better if I stand away, I think. There we go. It's a little bit better. So anyway, there's plenty of plants if plants are your thing. You can get yourself down this weekend. All the plants are available as from now. And there's one scary dude in the plant tank. And some of your twisted vellus. So there you go folks, that is today's unboxing. So thanks very, very much for watching. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing. For today folks, that's it. Thank you and good night.